Once again, it's your truly Rico vibes, and I got the one, the only, the, the bad girl. I'm gonna call you the bad girl, man, because <laughs> y- you have some songs that we're gonna talk about that in a minute. But Sugar, what's going on? <laughs> I'm blessed, you know. Long time we're gonna link up. I know. Long, been... long, long time. <laughs> We've been but talk- it's always a good vibe when I we know, do, right? I know. We've been talking on <laughs> Facebook. We've been talking all other places, but in an interview, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so welcome, welcome to the Rico Vibes One Drop Reggae Show. And, Thank um, you so much for having me. And big up to all the listeners. It's always my pleasure. It's always my pleasure. Now, you know, I, I'm going to get to crime scene in a minute, but I see you have a song here named Banana. <laughs> and I, 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 I don't even want, you know, it may be something I don't even want to talk about, but I know the audience want to hear about it. So talk about the single banana. Banana, banana, banana. <laughs> Let's all get, go bananas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just a fun song about fruits, the fruit that I like. Okay. Which is banana. Uh, okay. <laughs> when do you Ain't eat banana? Else Morning, to evening, it. or? <laughs> <laughs> right through the day. I mean, it's potassium, it's mm. iron. I will leave a health benefit, so okay. I suggest I, I suggest everybody try this fruit. Wow, man! And, and you know what? I've been seeing you everywhere recently, man. You you on a rampage. You on a promotional rampage. You in Germany. You just everywhere. What's going on for 2015? Did you just have a different mindset and go? I'm just gonna take it to them. Believe me, the mindset is always about putting the music first. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got, you know, this chance to really do it on a bigger scale. I went to Europe this year. I mean, I just jaw our work, I don't tell no lie, because nothing, nothing that has happened was something that was planned. Everything just happened spontaneously. Mm-hmm. And we just I work with it, and may I give thanks, because this is what I really want to do. Mm-hmm. You know, music on a bigger scale where, you know, I can be on stage performing for a big audience. Right. Everybody in the audience, they have ears. And we can say something motivational or something inspirational to uplift somebody, make somebody feel good out there. Because you don't know, say, music is a beat for every mood and a melody for each emotion. And everybody got through something in their life. So if, you can, if we can put out some music because... I am the singer, we have the producer, we produce the, 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 the rhythm section, and then we have the radio people, them, the people we, we play the music and make the people them hear it. We're all important. It's a chain. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So so we're all important in, in this in this cycle. And for me it's all about motivating people. Mm-hmm. The love my, my happiest moment and my happiness comes from seeing other people happy. You know, it brings me hope. Absolutely. You know, so that's, I'm about the music, putting the music first. Got you. Once again, folks, we're talking live with Sugar. Now, what comes first? Does the rhythm come first or does the lyrics come first? Do you write a lyric to a rhythm or (laughs) or vice versa? Every time it happens different. Really? Believe me. There are times when I might get a beat and I have to, I have to um, write something for the beat. But there are other times where something come to me and then the beat of a make around what I come up with Mm -hmm. and there are also other times where something just come up in our musician head we might be at the studio jamming like for example last night I was in studio um, with Edison and Derek Barnett Mm -hmm. and Snow Cone and I mean Edison picked up his guitar we were just there bugging out talking you know and he just picked up his guitar and he started playing something and I just started vibing, you know, the little nice moment there mm-hmm. where we just uh, enjoy the music for real. Wow. <laughs> no words, no nothing, just humming some melodies. And right. the melodies were all so beautiful. We recorded it. I was saying, no, we have to go put some words to the something here <laughs> because what in my play plus the melody are just bad. Right. We just need some lyrics here you now if it just complete the whole thing and mix it up and send it everywhere. <laughs> wow. Wow. So, you know, every time it happens, it, it happens different mm-hmm. every time. But it's always great. The end product is always a masterpiece. Wow. Wow. Talk about the uh, crime scene. Chalk line crime scene, yellow thief. <laughs> <laughs> crime scene, crime scene, crime scene. Yes. Well, you know, it's an it's a adult song, mm-hmm. but I always like clean up the lyrics them in a way where. Everybody can can 
Yes, it. <laughs> very clever, I might add. Very clever. <laughs> I mean, we have a lot of impotent men out there mm -hmm. who say they have what they don't. And us ladies, we like, we like when we ask for something like that, we get. Mm -hmm. You understand? We know what, uh, yeah. You know there's something there, girl. No 9.58. <laughs> no deadness. Right. No. Right. We're not really, yeah, we're not, we don't stand for that. If your boss say you have something, I got we want to see. We know I don't drop no catch. So you, you, you don't have personal experiences with that, right? I'm sure you're talking about other people. Definitely <laughs> I do. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. We're gonna leave that right there. Please. <laughs> Crime Let's <just> scene. Do that. <laughs> uh but then I got a song a few days ago. And um I, I, I listened to the song. It's called Ja Will Provide. Yeah. And I listened to the song, and it's quite a departure from the regular sugar, the regular stuff that we hear from sugar. Yeah. Um, was that by design? Uh, who produced it? Who wrote it? Talk about Ja Will Provide. Ja Will Provide. <laughs> uh, you know, I met Snow Cone, mm -hmm. and we just, we, we did the banana song mm -hmm. together. That song was produced by Snow Cone, and Snow Cone are the best person me ever meet. For me, I walk on Godland, me I tell you. Wow. When okay. I hype him up, me I say that from his soul. That's deep. That's deep. And that's, Very that's, deep. that's huge. And we, we, did this, we did this song together, which I will provide. And it was just, it just, it just came, it just came to us. Mm -hmm. It just did. Okay. Just one of them same vibe they were me I say within at the studio and it just come. Mm -hmm. Derek Barnett. Then at the studio we are play around and the song just came. Basically, just like that. Basically Jab provided the song. Exactly. Wow. Just like the song, the title of the song suggests. Wow, wow, wow. So, what 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 are your no. plans? <laughs> what are your plans for that particular song in particular? Do you have be planning on a video? I know it's it's, it's fresh. I know it's new. It's still like how it's still like how it never planned. Mm -hmm. Now I plan it. Okay. We just uh, make it. We just uh, make the Almighty go and work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Once again, folks, we're talking live with Sugar. Now, 2015 is coming to an end. Okay. You you did a lot of things in 2015. I saw you perform with Raga Shanti. I mean, you're all over the place. Whenever I open my Facebook, my Instagram, you're there, which is a good thing. A very good thing, and I love that because I've been I've been screaming sugar for the last almost almost five years, you know what I'm saying? So I'm 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 happy to see you doing that. But what are your plans for the rest of this year and 2016? Is there an EP and album in store for 2016? You know, say, would I tell you say EP and album probably in store, but we don't want to go there, sir. Honestly. Okay. All right. just, uh, honestly, <laughs> honestly, honestly, we just uh, work with the almighty di direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because a long time me I say album and a long time me I say a whole heap of things. And something else always happens. So, and, and the spontaneous things always work. Okay. So, I'm going to just be spontaneous. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. You know what I mean? <laughs> I but I mean, definitely a lot in the pipeline because I stay recording. Mm -hmm. We stay in studio. We stay creative. We stay blessed. We stay prayed up mm -hmm. every day, you know? I we just stay real. Okay. Now, you so, have worked with Ikea, you know, I, and I'm pretty sure you've worked with other uh, female artists. Any plans on working with any collaborations, either female or male, in, in the upcoming uh, projects? Definitely. You know, last night, um, while I was in studio, got a call from Mama Marcia Griffiths. Wow. And, that's big. You know, we, we talked about doing something. Definitely, that's, that's in the plan because she suggested, she suggested that she wanted to do something, mm -hmm. you know. And she been she been saying that for a while. But we just feel like at the right time now. Mm -hmm. And I'm so looking forward to that because Miss Griffiths is a is a real woman when we really look up to. Mm -hmm. You know, and I salute her for the work 
she has um she has been doing from day one till now and she stays strong and she still a do her thing as a big woman as a veteran right. in other right. business right. and me as a younger upcoming female me can look up on her and say wow you know right right she stay she she she, she stayed clean mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and she still a do her thing she's a role model i can look up to her wow not, not as, you, know, you know, that, that motivates me. Absolutely. <laughs> as a female, do you find any challenges, if any, at all? I mean, I'm sure there must be, but what do you find to be challenges in the business? Oh, well, if I challenge them, you know, I tell you the truth, but life comes with that, and that is something I expect. So, I not even really pay attention to them something there because I believe obstacles are things you see when you take your eyes off the prize. Mm -hmm. So, I just have to stay focused on what I'm going on. Yes, sir. And everything else will go all the war and everything else will go on around me. Then blurry bad because me not looking. <laughs> I feel it, man. I love that positive vibe. I love that positive vibe. Once again, folks, we're talking live with Sugar. Now, you went to Germany. What, what was that experience like just being overseas and seeing reggae music from a different perspective? That experience was extremely awesome. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. I say you should have did it. <laughs> May I tell you <laughs> <laughs> I, I just came back from Africa and I, I saw it from a different perspective there. So I can wow. imagine. <laughs> awesome, isn't it? Yes, yes, Listen, yes, yes. You know, music, always something where we love, you know, man. Mm -hmm. But upon the scale, upon the level, they say, to be outside of your country mm -hmm. and see some people are going to overflow with culture, overflow with something where I feel with people create. Of right. course, it feel right. good. Right. You feel good, good, good. That's something so we preserve. Yes. We have to preserve it. Right. Because I would, some country have gold. Mm -hmm. Some have diamond. Music, I feel with riches. So we have to make sure so we preserve it to the best, best, best. Wow. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? Absolutely. Say? Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. I tell you because our riches, our blessing, our life, this. Mm hmm Mm -mm. Now, the, the fellas, you know, you know, I got a lot of fellas that listen to the show, you know, and of course, you know, you got that model physique going on. How's your son, by the way? <laughs> My son is great. I mean, he just turned nine mm -hmm. uh, a few months ago. Getting big, you know. Okay. He was so sensible. I mm -hmm. can't, I can't hide anything from him. <laughs> Nothing at all. Simple things like a little distress mm -hmm. he sees right through me like that child is a blessed child so for, for, <laughs> for the guys out there you know if you know you sing all these songs and, and and some of them is you know just telling it like it is so if a guy yeah. is going out on a date with sugar what's the mm -hmm. most important feature or attribute he has to have he has to possess real be real yeah as, as just be real be real from start to finish don't try to don't try to be somebody else Okay. That's not my say because the real you will eventually come out, and maybe I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> As D major you said, real no real, right? All right, I got right. you. <laughs> right. Anything new coming up from Penthouse? I know Penthouse is your stable. Anything coming up from them in the near future? Definitely, man. A whole heap of things. Okay. A crocus bag of things. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, a lot of things because you know I've been there. I've been there for six years. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so I will leave, I will leave something. So, and there's always something new coming out. Gotcha. Well, man, it's been always, it's always a pleasure talking to you. You know, this is the, I guess, would be the final one for 2015, but you know, we always keep the links. I want you to sing something either for the ladies or for the fellas online right now, right here on the Flavor Radio and wherever the show is being played. Just, just give them a little something, a little something, something. <laughs> When I call on Jaja, I know that he will answer. Yeah. See, when I scream his name, he's always on time. It's the morning voice, you know? <laughs> wow, it's, it's, it's all good, man. It's, your morning voice is still very, very much better than a lot of people's regular voice. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, man, it's always a pleasure, sugar. It's always a pleasure talking to you, man. We wish you continued success. Pleasure man. is mine. Thank oh. you so much. And once more, big up to all the listeners again. Mm -hmm. I stay active on Facebook, so y'all can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash S-H-U-G-A music. That's facebook.com slash sugar music. You don't know Instagram and Twitter. It's sugar underscore T-U-R-F. Link me up. Link me up. There you Chat go. And, and, and that's time. actually you, right? There's not, not no handlers. That's nobody actually like that. that's me. Actually you, right? No, I'm in a rich store. <laughs> 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 I mean, speaking of riches, when you, when you get your first million, not that you don't already have it, but when you get your first million US, yeah. what's the first thing you're going to do with that first million US? <sighs> uh, bank it. Bank it. Think about it. Ah, because ah. there's so much to be done, believe me. Gotcha. There's so much to be done, you know. We're not going to come with some cliche thing. But in a real, a whole heap of things need to be done. I see things happening in my community. Mm -hmm. You know, I wish I could have uh, uh, put a foot in and, you know, mm -hmm. give a help. But it just not reach this way yet. Gotcha. So I just uh, go and cry and I go and work on it. You understand? Because all the time, people see, see you out there and they have, they have their thought, you know. Mm -hmm. them, them have them idea of what they think it is. Mm -hmm. But not, not necessarily so. Let me get my dear, man. Let me get my dear. <laughs> All right. Well, we're live in the UK. We're live in Germany. We're live in Canada. We're live in the Caribbean. We're also live in the Gambia, Africa. You know, I've been broadcasting there for five plus years. So, shout out to your fans all over the world before you go. Big up Gambia. Big up the listeners in the UK. You don't know Caribbean. That's where we come from. Big up to all the listeners. Enough love. And just a thought for the day, if you could see the magnitude of your blessing, then there would be no need for stressing. Perseverance is key, so just go and do it. You don't know. Only endurance can overcome misfortune. So whatever it is that you, you're facing in life or whatever it is, because you don't know the life come with a whole heap of struggle. Yo, just brush it off and get up and go and try. Take out every challenge like a champion and do it. Mm, mm, mm. Words to live by. Thank you once again, Sugar. It's been a pleasure. We're going to talk again real soon, all right? Yeah, man. Enough love. Enough love. Bless. Bless up.